more do you have? All right, you, you're going to text? I want to know you made it, please. So you're dismissed. You can go with your, you have to play for Sabrina still? We got to get you. I'm so afraid. You promised me one thing. Pardon me while I have a conversation here. You will not rush to get back to church. You promised me. Okay, Sabrina, you ready to sing? I'm excited to hear from you. You come and you sing for us. Now, and I'm not saying this to be funny. Can you stand back here and be seen? Can you? Or do, would you like to stand over there? Because I want your dad to see you. He's going to watch this. Yeah, where would you feel comfortable standing? Would you stand right off over here? You stand right over. Or do this. Go stand by the piano. Will that work? That'll be good. This will be good. Then we'll all see you. And I'm excited to hear from you. Where's mom? She's, she's at home sick right now. All right, so we're getting this, cameraman. Good. Here we go. Wonderful. Grab your Bibles, Justin Kidwell. You come preach to us. Hello? There we go. Okay. Let's open our Bibles to Ezekiel 37, verse number one. You guys ready for part two of the beatdown? We, uh, we heard Brother Scott touch on this a little bit uh, during the missions conference and uh, how the bones were very symbolic and um, Ezekiel obeying God's commandments. And just uh, he did good on that, and I'd like to um, expound a little bit on it. We see here in Ezekiel 37 about a threefold resurrection. <clears throat> it's very symbolic. Um, like he said, because if you look at verse number one, the hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. So first thing right off the bat, I just want to let you guys know that he's carried in the spirit. So that means it's in a, a dream or a vision 
that God has allowed him to see. This isn't real life. There's no um, 